Hi everybody, Ian Bremmer here. I have your world in more than 60 seconds. You know what that means. As long as coronavirus is with us, I give you more than 60 seconds. It's my way of giving back. It's not a very effective way, mind you, but it's better than absolutely nothing for at least some people. Uh, let's get started. Your questions are lined up here. Number one, what's the story with the new COVID strain in Britain? Well, I mean, it's, uh, it's a mutation. Apparently, um, it is uh, equally uh, combatable by the vaccines that we've developed. And I've heard that directly uh, by some of the people that are running those companies. So it's not a concern about um, the ability that we have to stop the disease once we get vaccinations, thank God. Uh, but it is a problem in terms of how much more quickly uh, the virus can be transmitted. Now, in the United Kingdom, uh, they do an awful lot of testing, especially compared to many countries in Europe, and they have found an extensive amount of this new strain, uh, which has led them to bring the UK into tier four, as they call it, uh, which means basically Christmas is canceled. No one's going anywhere. Everything's locked down. That also has meant that a lot of countries have suspended travel uh, to the United Kingdom, which I understand, but we've already seen some of this new strain in Italy, for example. I suspect it's going to pop up in a bunch of other countries in the continent. If it's everywhere, do you really want the additional pain economically? Look, one thing I would say is that over the course of the next couple of months, as we see much more vaccinations, and we're going to, we've got 500,000 people vaccinated already in the United States, which is a fantastic number, frankly, so quickly. These are the people that are most vulnerable. Mortality rates are going to go down significantly. As it does, there needs to be much more focus on the economic side of the equation. $600 in the pocket of the average American that is suffering on the back of all of these lockdowns is not adequate for them. And I think the new coronavirus task force under Biden should be doctors and epidemiologists, should also be economists and business leaders. You need a balance between both. And I am worried that especially as we do a better job finally in fighting the healthcare impact of this disease, we are not doing nearly an adequate job for the average American in fighting the economic consequences. And that is something we're gonna live with for a very long time. Okay, uh, next question. Did Alexei Navalny really prank his poisoner? I don't know that I'd call it a prank in the sense that Navalny could have died, um, but he did pretend to be the boss of this one Russian spy got him on the phone and was chewing him out with a fictitious name and say, how was it um, that uh, Navalny, uh, you didn't kill this guy? And I'm sure at least psychologically, um, it was good for Alexei to feel like he was able to do that and get it out there. And apparently um, they, they put um, this, uh, this, this agent, this chemical agent uh, inside the seams of Navalny's boxer shorts. I mean, I didn't need to know what kind of briefs Navalny wears uh, personally, but now it's all out there. Um, he wore them, um, it, it got into his body. He uh, immediately fell very ill. Apparently when the Russians provided his body, um, they allowed it to fly, flip him to fly to Germany, uh, all the clothing was of course not there. Uh, because that's evidence. And now he's trying to get that clothing, and I'm fairly certain that that clothing no longer is gettable. Um, but uh, does Putin care? Mm, probably not. You know, I mean, uh, he's uh, Navalny's considered a pest. But also, if Putin really wanted Navalny dead, uh, Navalny would be dead by now. I think that's also pretty clear. Putin likes to show that he can play a cat and mouse game uh, with uh, these dissidents that he is so much more powerful than. I feel fairly confident that if there were more significant threats to Putin's power, uh, the level of direct repressive measures against a lot of these people would be even greater. It's not as if Putin uh, has any respect for human life in this context, a very depressing thing. Um, did you see the Christmas star? I actually did. This is Jupiter and Saturn uh, coming as close together as they've ever been uh, since the 1600s, apparently 1623, Galileo's time. And you look out and it was right after sunset. And even in a city like New York with all the ambient light, you could actually see this very bright two 
planets kind of look like stars, right? Because how the hell would we know um, right where the sun had set uh, for a couple of hours? And I mean, it was nice. I, it didn't excite me, but I thought it was kind of a cool thing. Uh, interestingly, everyone talks about how it's the first time since 1623, but the astronomers are saying that back in 1623, they were too close to the position of the sun, so no one could have seen it. It's like if a tree falls in the forest and no one is there, does it make a sound? Does it matter? And the answer is, well, yeah, maybe, but it's not as exciting as if the humans can put it in context, document it, has experience for us. And that's important because this does happen every few hundred years. In fact, it happened back in the early 1200s when people could see it. Um, and then that was the time of Genghis Khan. And that was, you know, the kind of world that we have today, more G zero, more kind of like mass destruction. And we don't care about people. And, and, and it just feels more appropriate generally that the, the last time we've had this kind of a, of a convergence of the, uh, the two largest planets in the solar system, people are saying Jupiter and Saturn, but they are, they're the two largest planets. It's like the United States and China, but on a solar system kind of scale, right? I'm just going to stop right now because I clearly know nothing useful about astronomy. But you asked this question, and so I'm giving you what I have. Anyway, that's it for me. Have a Merry Christmas, everyone. Um, it's going to be weird this year, but next year, we can all handle weirdness for one year. Uh, stay safe, avoid people, and I will see you all in 2021. Be good.